morning everybody. I am Seshagiri Rao, Associate Professor in the Department of Electronics and Communication Engineering. Today I am going to discuss about the positive peak and negative peak clampers. These are part of electronic device and circuits syllabus. So a clamper is a circuit which adds a DC level to the AC signal. And you know the average value of AC signal, it is when the AC signal is passed through a capacitor, the DC is blocked and it gets zero average signal value. And using a clamping circuit, you can change the DC or average value of the AC signal. So actually the positive and negative peaks of the signal, they can be placed at required level or at a desired level using the clamping circuit. So, so as the DC level gets shifted, the clamping circuit is also called as level shifter. So in clamping circuits, only the DC or average value is changed, but not the wave shape, but not the wave shape. The wave shape is kept as it is, only the DC level or average value is shifted. So clamping circuits essentially they consist of uh, energy storage elements like capacitors and a simple clamping circuit it consists of a capacitor, a diode and a resistor and output uh, side a DC battery if needed. So it consists of a capacitor, a diode, a resistor and a DC battery to provide the voltage reference if required. So this is uh, the basic uh, AC signal which has the average value as 0. So using the clamping circuit you can see the signal is shifted up. So it is positively clamped. So the DC value becomes positive. So it, we can say that it is positively clamped signal. So a circuit which adds DC value to the AC waveform without changing the shape of the waveform that is called as clamper. So here we use a diode, a capacitor and a resistor and also if required we use a reference voltage. And there are few types of clamper circuits such as positive clamper, positive clamper with positive VR, positive clamper with negative VR, negative clamper negative clamper with positive VR and negative clamper with negative VR. So these are the various types of clamping circuits. So the various types are positive clamper, positive clamper with positive VR and positive clamper with negative VR, a negative clamper and negative clamper with positive VR and negative clamper with negative VR. So these are the different types of clamper circuits. Now let us see a positive clamper with positive VR. First we will see the simple circuit, positive clamping circuit. So these are positive clamping circuits we will examine. So here we are not uh, considering any reference voltage. So we are uh, considering that the reference voltage is zero and also we are assuming that the diodes which are used in the circuit they are ideal. So this is the positive clamping circuit and this is the capacitor and this is the diode which is connected in this fashion and this is the output and input is applied across these terminals. So this is essentially a positive clamping circuit. Now let us see how the circuit functions or how the circuit offers uh, works. So initially when we assume that the voltage across the capacitor is zero. Now let us apply a sine wave to the circuit. So this is a sine wave which is applied to the circuit. Let us say this is a point A and this is a point B and let us say this is a point C, this is a point D and this is a point E. Okay. Now let us see what happens to the circuit when this waveform is 
applied at the input terminals. So during the positive half cycle, the, during the points between A and B, what happens? The voltage is positive at this terminal and the voltage is negative at this terminal. So when the positive waveform is applied, naturally this diode is reversed by us because the cathode is at positive voltage and anode is at negative voltage. So during positive half cycle of the input waveform, the diode is reversed by us. So you know when the diode is reversed by us, it acts as a open circuit. It acts as a open circuit. So what happens? All the input it appears across the output terminal. So all the input what you are applying, it is going to appear across the output terminal. So initially, during the points A and B, the diode is reversed by us and simply whatever input you give, it appears across the output terminals. So this is like this A and B. Now at the point B, the waveforms become the waveform, you know, it is becoming negative. It is good. So that means the voltage at the terminal 1 is negative and the voltage at the terminal 2 is positive during the negative half cycle. So when the voltage at 1 is negative and the voltage at 2 is uh, positive during the negative half cycle, what happens? The diode gets powered by asked and it liberally conducts. So when the diode is forward by us during the points B and C, the cathode is at negative voltage, the anode is at positive voltage and the diode is forward by us and it conducts heavily. So it acts as a short circuit. So during the points between B and C, the voltage is zero. The voltage across output terminals is zero. So this is between B and C. So between B and C, when the diode is far by us, the output voltage is zero. And what happens? Uh, the diode is replaced with a sharp circuit and the capacitor gets quickly charged to the peak value. The capacitor gets quickly charged to the peak value. That means it gets charged to the peak value Vm. Let us say the peak value here is voltage is Vm. So at point C, at point C, the capacitor the capacitor quickly gets charged charged to Vm. And during operation of the circuits, we are going to assume that the charging time is very small compared to the discharging time. So there are two time constants here. One is RF. RF is the forward resistance of the diode and this output resistance is R. So what happens? You have two time constants RFC and RC. So these are the two time constants. So we are we are assuming that RC, the discharge time constant, is far far greater than RFC. That is the assumption. So that means the capacitor gets quickly charged. The capacitor gets quickly charged, and it gets discharged very slowly. And we are going to assume that the RF the RC is approximately 10 times of RFC. RC is approximately 10 times RFC. So this is the assumption. So at point C, when the diode is forward by us, the capacitor gets quickly charged to Vm. Okay. And from the points between C and D, what happens? Uh, the voltage is uh, the voltage uh, is falling down from the peak value Vm, and again the but at the cathode we have the capacitor terminal and capacitor is already charged to Vm, so uh, the diode is once again it gets reversed by us because at the point C the voltage at the capacitor is Vm, but the voltage at the anode of the diode is 
falling down the value of falling down from vm so the capacitor gets reverse biased and it acts like a open switch so during the points b and c during the points b and c diode is diode is in rb that means it is in reverse bias diode is in reverse bias and the voltage v out is equal to vm vm minus vc vm minus vc Sorry, it is Vi minus Vm. Vi minus Vm. So what happens? The uh, the output voltage it for it uh, once again it becomes uh, positive. So it becomes like this. Now at the point uh, E. So this is a point E. At the point E, the input voltage is Vm. The input voltage is Vm, and the capacitor is at the capacitor is at Vm voltage. So at the point E, what is the output voltage? It is Vm plus Vm, which is two Vm. So at the point E, the diode is in reverse bias. The capacitor it remains. It's uh, the capacitor remains at its peak value Vm and the input voltage is at Vm. So V0 is equal to Va plus Vm. So that is equal to 2 Vm at the point E. And again it falls down and you can see it follows this term. So during the steady state value, this is a steady state response uh, and during steady state the peak value is 2 Vm and the minimum value is 0 volts. So we can say that the input waveform is clamped to positive voltage with the average value at Vm. So what is the average value here? It is Vm. Earlier what, is, what was the average value? It is 0 volts. So that is how the voltage gets positively clamped right? using, using the diode and capacitor and the resistor. So the basic assumption here is that the charging time constant which is nothing but RFC is far far less than the discharge time constant which is RC and typically RC is 10 times more than RFC. So the steady state response gives this shape. Initially this is a waveform and we ignore this response but the steady, during the steady state uh, performance you get the waveform with an average value Vm and the voltage is positively clamped. So this is a positive clamping circuit. And same circuit when you apply a pulse signal it is like this. When you apply a square wave with average value 0 it, it gives this type of output response. So this is a load resistor R and diode, this is a diode and this is a capacitance and this is the input waveform Vi. Now let us say you are applying a square waveform like this at the input terminals with the peak value Vm. So this is 0 volts and this is peak value is Vm here and it is minus Vm. So initially what happens, initially what happens, let us say you are at the point 1 or let us say this is point A, B, C, D and this is G. So at point A, when the voltage is positive, the diode is, the diode is in a reverse bias. 
So, this is 0. Okay. So, at the point uh, initially when the voltage is positive, the diode is in reverse bias and it acts as an open circuit. So, you get whatever voltage you apply, you get at the output terminal in this way. So, this is Vm initially. Now, at the point B, when the voltage becomes negative, negative voltage is applied to the cathode and the anode is in anode voltage is positive with respect to the cathode voltage. So, the diode is in forward bias and the capacitor quickly gets charged to Vm. So, at the point from A to B, when the voltage is, uh, sorry, from from B to C, this is during A to B and from B to C, when the voltage is negative, the capacitor is charged to the peak value and the diode is in forward bias and when the diode is in forward bias, it acts like a short circuit and you get the output voltage as 0. So, B to C, momentarily you get the value as 0. So, during the points uh, between B and C, the capacitor gets charged to Vm. The capacitor gets charged to Vm. And during the points between B and C, you see here the voltage is negative here and the voltage is positive here. So, when the voltage is positive and, uh, and, and so at point C, at point C, capacitor voltage, capacitor is, this is the time 0. And this is a point one, two, three, four. So when the voltage is positive between the points zero and one, the diode is in the reverse bias and acts like an open circuit, and we get the waveform like this between zero and one, as I have shown before. So let us assume that the peak value is Vm here and here it is minus Vm, so the average value is 0. And between points 1 and 2, uh, the diode is in forward bias and the capacitor gets quickly charged to Vm, so during the portion between 1 and 2, the output voltage is 0. This is a momentary response. So at point 2, at point 2, capacitor voltage is Vm. Capacitor voltage is Vm and it remains for a very long time because we have assumed that the charging time constant is far far greater than discharge, sorry, the charging time constant is far far less than discharge time constant. So, we have assumed already that Rfc is far far less than Rc. So, under these circumstances, the capacitor gets quickly charged and the output voltage is V0. V0 is equal to Vi plus Vm. Okay. Now, during the points uh, between 2 and 3, the voltage becomes positive and the capacitor voltage is already positive. So, between 2 and 3, we get the voltage which is equal to 2 Vm. 2 Vm. So, between 2 and 3. And between 3 and 4, the voltage, when the voltage becomes negative, when the voltage becomes negative, what happens? Uh, the diode is in forward bias and the voltage is 0. The voltage across the output terminals is 0. So, again here, the voltage is 2 Vm. So, you can say that under steady state conditions, the input square waveform is clamped to, to, uh, clamp to a waveform with the average value as Vm. So, this is a steady state response. Now, let us discuss about the clamping circuit which is having a negative characteristic. So, negative clamping circuit. 
Negative clamping circuit is same like positive clamping circuit, only the polarity of the diode is reversed. So this is the capacitor and here we have the diode which is uh, reversed with reference to the positive clamping circuit and this is the resistor R and the input is applied here between these two terminals. Now let us see the operation of the circuit. Now let us say we are giving this type of waveform. So the average value of this waveform is 0 with the peak value at Vm. So th this is 0 volts average value. Let us say this point is uh, 1, this is 2 and this is 3 and this is 4. Now what is the response? Initially we are going to have a transient response. So uh, between the point 0 and 1, the input voltage is negative. So the diode is in a reverse bias. So whatever voltage you apply, it simply appears across the output terminals between 0 and 1. This is the transient response. Now between the points 1 and 2, you know that means during the positive half of the input cycle, the diode is in forward bias. Let us take, uh, uh, this is the point 1 dash, let us take, uh, okay. So during the points uh, between 1 and 1 dash, the, uh, the, the voltage applied is positive, so the diode is in forward bias. So you are going to have the flow of current in this way. So the capacitor gets charged to Vm. Very quickly it gets charged to Vm. And the output voltage across the diode is going to be 0 because the diode is in forward bias. So between 1 and 1 dash, I am getting output voltage as 0. And between 1 dash and 2, what happens? The voltage is falling down from the positive peak to the 0, positive peak to the 0. So when the voltage is falling down that way, the diode is once again, it, it is in a reverse bias. So when the diode is in reverse bias, what happens? It acts like an open circuit and you, are, you will get the waveform in this way. Between one, 1 dash and 2, you get like this. And at 2 dash, when the voltage is uh, at its peak, then the output voltage is going to be the output voltage V V naught is equal to minus V m plus V i. So at the point two dash, you know the V i is minus V m. So minus V m plus minus V m, you will get minus two V m. So at the point 2 dash, you get maximum voltage as 2 Vm and this process it repeats. So this is the steady state response. So during steady state, the peak value of the voltage is 2 Vm, it is minus 2 Vm and we can say that the signal is negatively clamped and the maximum peak value is minus 2 Vm and the DC average value is minus Vm. That is why it is called as negative clamping circuit. Now let us see a positive clamping circuit with positive Vr. So this is a circuit for positive clamping with positive Vr. Positive clamping circuit with positive Vr. 
So here, this is the capacitor and this is the diode and this is the positive reference voltage and the output is taken across the load resistor R and the input is applied between these two terminals. So, in this circuit, initially let us say you are giving this type of a form. So, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, what happens during the points between 0 and 1, the voltage is uh, positive at the cathode of the diode. So, the diode is in reverse bias. So, it acts like an open circuit and whatever voltage you apply, it simply appears across the output terminals. So, between 0 and 1, you get replica of the input waveform. So, we get like this and again between the points 1 and 2, the voltage is falling down. So, when the voltage is falling down, so what happens? The, the diode is in forward bias and the capacitor gets quickly charged to the voltage given by Vm and the reference voltage Vr. So, this is a Vr. So, the capacitor gets charged and so it becomes like this. And between the points, uh, between 3 and 4, during the points between 3 and 4, uh, the, capa the capacitor gets slowly, uh, uh, sorry, the output becomes Vr and the diode is far biased and you get the output voltage like this. So, during steady state condition, you get the output voltage is like this. So, what is the peak value of this? The peak value of this is going to be Vm plus 2 Vm plus Vr and minimum voltage what we, what we are going to get is Vr. So, you can say that this waveform is shifted by Vr, the reference voltage. So, here in this case, the output voltage V not is equal to Vi plus Vm plus Vr. So, at the point 5 when the voltage is maximum you get at point 5 V naught is equal to v, Vi plus Vm plus Vr. So, that is equal to at point 5 Vi is equal to Vm. So, you get Vm plus Vm plus Vr. So, that is equal to 2 Vm plus Vr. So, this is a positive clamping circuit with positive Vr. Similarly, if you want a negative clamping circuit with a negative Vr, the circuit is going to be like this. And the output resistance R and the input is applied in these two terminals. So, this is nothing but a negative clamping circuit negative clamping circuit with negative Vr. So, this uh, operation of the circuit is same like uh, the negative clamping circuit only you will get an additional shift of Vr. So, if you are given this type of input waveform like this, then this circuit will give the output with the negative clamping in this way.
So here this is the VR, the reference voltage VR and the peak value is going to be 2 Vm plus VR. So let us quickly summarize what has been discussed so far. So this is the positive clamping circuit, uh, what we have discussed and here the main three elements are the capacitor. the capacitor, the diode and the input waveform is having the average value as 0 and the output waveform is having the average value as Vm and this is a steady state output response. So initially when the input is given the capacitor is not yet charged and the diode is reverse biased and the output is not considered at this time and we consider the response only in the steady state conditions. So the output is equal to Va plus Vm. So when it is equal to Va plus Vm, when the voltage is at peak, when the input voltage is at peak, the output the voltage V0 is equal to Va plus Vm, which is nothing but Vm plus Vm. So it is 2 Vm. So the signal is positively clamped and the output signal changes according to the changes in the input. But the shift in the level according to the charge which is present on the capacitor and the charge on the capacitor can change by adding a reference voltage. So if you put a, the reference voltage as positive then the capacitor gets charged to Vm plus Vr and if you put a negative reference then the capacitor gets charged to Vm minus Vr. So accordingly the shift in the output waveform it takes place. So, this is a positive clamping circuit with negative Vr. So, when you put a negative voltage, you can see the voltage slightly falls down below 0 volts because you have put the negative reference voltage. Now, this is a negative clamping circuit without any reference voltage. So, in this case, you get the peak value as minus 2 Vm and the average value is minus Vm and the voltage is below 0 volts. This waveform output waveform is in the steady state conditions and the assumption is that the time constant which is a charging time constant RFC is far far less than the time constant the discharge time constant which is nothing but RC. So roughly we have assumed that RFC, RC is equal to 10 multiplied by RFC, where RF is the diode forward resistance. And this is the circuit for the negative clamper with positive reference. So when you give a positive reference voltage VR, the capacitor gets charged to uh, uh, Vm minus Vr and the, the voltage, is, the positive peak slightly appears above the ground reference as shown here. So this is the output waveform. When we give a positive reference voltage to the negative clamper. And again, when we give a negative reference voltage to the negative clamper, then the voltage falls below the ground line and this is a waveform what you get and the peak of this waveform is 2 Vm plus Vr and of course you have to put a minus here and what is this value? This value is minus Vr. Only you have changed the polarities of the reference voltage for the positive for the positive reference and the negative reference. So some of the applications of the clampers are they are used for direct current restorers, they are also used to remove distortions, they are used as voltage multipliers and they are also used for the protection of amplifiers and they are used in test equipment, they are also used as baseline stabilizers. So the applications of clampers are they are used as direct current restorers, they are used to remove distortions, they are also used as voltage multipliers, they are also used for 
the protection of the amplifiers they are used as test equipment and they are used as baseline stabilizers so these are the references uh, what uh, from where i have taken the material to make this presentation so with this i conclude today's session on clampers thank you like share and subscribe hit the bell icon for more updates